Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I am so pleased to share that I now have a course available on LinkedIn Learning. To find out more about this, let's get stuck in. Now, with any announcement like this, obviously there's a ton of questions. Um, my YouTube content is absolutely going nowhere. This is gonna stay here. I'm still gonna be doing my Tableau explainers. I'm still gonna be doing my new feature releases. And I have so much more planned for Snowflake, Alteryx, and DBT uh, as we move throughout the future. Now, one of the challenges though, is that people have kept on asking me for courses. And I've tried my best to try and make uh, parts of YouTube work like a course. If you go and check out my playlist tabs, you'll see that I've even re-termed some of those topics as courses. If you actually go to my Tableau prep playlist, that is in effect a course. But for whatever reason, people don't quite see YouTube as a course platform. And there's actually a good reason behind that. The first one is that YouTube is actually blocked in most enterprise situations. So you can't easily recommend a YouTube playlist as a learning resource because in most cases, YouTube and or Google platforms are entirely blocked. The other thing is that once you're on YouTube, you constantly face distractions from pretty much every other hobby that's gonna be way more interesting than analytics. So once you start watching something on YouTube in the playlist, it's very easy to get distracted and be sort of sent somewhere else. That's why the majority of people who find my videos actually find it through search on YouTube or they find it through search on Google. Once they have a problem, they'll search for it, they'll then find my video, watch that one video, find the help they need and go on to the next one. They don't typically have a need to then watch an entire playlist on functions or an entire playlist on Tableau Prep. The other thing is that when you start to think about learning platforms, sometimes the incentives that are linked to them, uh, the business incentives, don't necessarily uh, encourage good practice when it comes to learning. Uh, a popular platform that you probably all know about is Udemy. I actually evaluated uh, putting a course on Udemy. And the problem there is it's actually quite easy to put a course on Udemy. Um, you can you can pretty much just get started. Anyone can start the process. You can go through the validation process with them. And as long as you're good at making content, you can get your course on Udemy, no problem. That said, um, the mechanisms for Udemy really put a lot of pressure on the user to really follow through with that sort of desire to learn. And the platform itself doesn't, so it doesn't sort of frequently nudge you. It's got a few mechanisms that can do that. It's got reminders, you can set up a schedule, you can set up learning slots, and then it can remind you during those slots. But in reality, once you've purchased the course, it's your course and they have your money, the instructor has your money, and there's no sort of ongoing relationship. The other thing is that each course is one purchase. So if you want to learn a ton of things, it actually gets quite expensive. I think most people I know on Udemy have probably only ever max bought maybe 10, 15 courses. As soon as you start to go over that, it becomes quite untenable really. And it actually starts to cost quite a lot of money. The other platforms, something like Coursera, those are those are really sort of dedicated platforms. Those are more for people who have a lot of time and a lot of sort of flexibility to go and learn something big. So I still wanted to find a platform that allowed you to make something you can consume over a lunch break, something you can consume in a short amount of time, and then be able to go and learn other things and move on. Because of course, analytics or Tableau is not a subject in and of itself. It lives in an ecosystem. So you also need to be able to learn other things without having to pin down exactly where you want to start your journey. And so LinkedIn learning became a really valuable proposition for two reasons. Um, LinkedIn is not typically blocked in most organizations. In fact, a lot of organizations do support their staff to use LinkedIn for professional means. In fact, they actually even subsidize subscriptions for their staff to access content. And so when making a course for LinkedIn, Understanding that LinkedIn learning comes free with a LinkedIn premium subscription was a really valuable thing because immediately you're attaching the value of the course to something that people already find valuable, which means if they're already motivated to learn or find a new job or find a new client or find a new customer and they want to understand how Tableau fits in that ecosystem, they can just switch tabs, go ahead to LinkedIn learning, find out more about Tableau, understand how it works, possibly use one of my courses to do that and then carry on with their day on LinkedIn learning. It's where people are working, it's where people are thinking. And so I thought, I just thought that LinkedIn learning made a really, really good fit in that particular use case. The other thing is that maybe you're not interested in LinkedIn premium and you just wanna learn, you just want access to a learning platform. Well, LinkedIn learning actually gives you a free trial period. So if you want to watch my course for free, you absolutely can. You can just go ahead and uh, hit the free trial on LinkedIn learning. You get 30 days free, one month free. And then after that, there's a monthly or yearly subscription you can sign up to. But here again, the value is this, you get access to multiple pieces of content on LinkedIn. And 
I don't know if you've noticed, but LinkedIn has become a really powerful social platform, especially in the world of work. And so when making a course, I just thought this was such a good place to put the course. You can even have the course integrated in everyone's timeline. To me, at this moment in time with Twitter doing what it's doing, it felt like just a good thing. And of course, I didn't know that three months ago when I recorded the content, but I sort of had this hunch that, hey, you know, social platforms are coming to the place where they're now also trying to host video content in lots of different ways. And if LinkedIn are making this move to have learning content alongside their social feed, which is what they've been doing for the last few months, then this is going to be a really good place for people who are focused on pushing their work, career, learning forward. So that's sort of one of the incentives. Now, I totally hear you. Hey, I don't have uh, money for a LinkedIn premium subscription. I don't have money for uh, a LinkedIn learning trial. Well, how can I access this course for free? Well, if you're watching this video, what you can do is you can hit the link that I've put in the comment. The first comment on this video will be pinned. If you go to my post sharing this course, the link in that post is actually going to give you a limited access to this course for free. So everyone who watches my content here on YouTube can just do that. Go ahead, go to that post, click on that link and watch it for free and you'll be able to access the course for a limited time. But here's the thing, the course is only one hour, 15 minutes. So it's an absolute no brainer. Go ahead, do that and discover what else is good on LinkedIn. Okay, so I've talked about why LinkedIn Learning. Let's talk a bit more about the course. It's titled Everybody's Introduction to Tableau. This is actually the post I shared today. I had to share this post because this is the post I'm talking about if you want to go and get free access. If you go ahead to my profile, you'll find this post. I've put a link directly to it. And if you go ahead and just click on this blue area, it takes you to the course itself. I'm gonna pause there because this is the actual LinkedIn Learning experience. Now, if you have a premium subscription to LinkedIn, you've already got this. If you have a company Company access to LinkedIn, you've probably already got this as well. And if you've clicked that link from my profile, you should get a limited time access to watch this entire course for free. And so what does this course cover? Well, I wanted to create a course that didn't require people to have to down Tableau to understand the whole platform. And what I mean by the whole platform is literally every single part of the Tableau platform, because a lot of tutorials and a lot of courses only focus on the desktop authoring experience. However, the majority of people who use Tableau might never build a dashboard. And so for that reason, I really wanted to introduce people to the concept of what is Tableau. That's actually one of the most watched videos on my YouTube channel. And when I thought about this course, I was really speaking to that fact that most people just wanted to understand what the Tableau platform is. And so I've structured a course that I hope will solve that question. And um, in essence, there's an introduction, which everyone can watch for free, actually. Uh, who does this course for? The Tableau platform, all of that is included as part of the uh, uh, available sort of videos that you can get free, regardless of whether you have a subscription or not. And as you go down, you can see that I have a video on each and every part of the platform. The video is the longest video on this platform. The longest video on this course, I think, is actually... It's an eight minute video, which is also pretty tough for me. <laughs> you see my YouTube videos. I struggle to keep things really succinct. So a lot of this course, in fact, all of the course was scripted. It was done uh, to a very precise uh, sort of timing to make sure that it's easy to follow, but it's also easy for you to absorb what's being discussed. There is no requirement for you to do absolutely anything other than just to sit back, relax, watch. You could even listen on your phone if that's something you can do. Um, and then um, if you ever forget a particular part of the platform, you can always come back to this and just watch the bit that you want to watch. Let's say you've heard of CRM analytics for the first time and you just want a two minute reminder on what that is, you can go ahead, hit that button and watch the video. If you want to know what the difference between Tableau server and Tableau cloud is again i have a video on that if you just want to know um how to piece together the tableau platform well at the very end i've got some business use cases and what i've done here is i've tried to bring users into the world that i live in which is customers come to me and my <clears throat> i've tried to introduce users to the world that i live in which is customers come to me at the information lab and they ask hey um, I want to do this particular thing. Uh, how do I solve that problem? And so in this little section, I try and walk you through how to think through those problems based on the understanding of the entire course. And because you don't need to have any technical knowledge, you too can actually do this as well, because as long as you've watched the previous videos, you'll be able to piece together how the platform works. And if you don't, then I've got solutions as well to walk you through how to do that and also explain why those solutions come together. I've done that three times with three very different business use cases. 
even one that goes into APIs and things like the Tableau Exchange as well. So um, go ahead and check out this entire course. It's broken down into three sections. The first one is the core platform, the main products of the Tableau platform. The second one is called Enhancing the Platform, which touches on data management, advanced management, APIs, embedded analytics, the Tableau Exchange. Uh, and then at the very end, we've got a few more bits, which is the business use cases, but also the Tableau Blueprint, which is actually a really important part of understanding how to piece together Tableau. So that's the course in a nutshell. And when you're done, you can actually go and watch some other fantastic courses on Tableau. If you just go to LinkedIn Learning and just search Tableau, uh, you can uh, go ahead and find a whole bunch of resources that are available here already for you to watch. So it sits alongside everything else that LinkedIn Learning has. And if you were just to type something as broad as analytics into this search by my word, um, you're gonna be inundated with content you can watch in and amongst this uh, great sort of sea of content around Tableau. So that's how the course works. Hopefully you find that useful. Hopefully you find this guide useful. Um, I just wanted to sort of give you a very brief guide as to how to get stuck in. Um, and the other thing to bear in mind is I'm not immune to feedback. Just because we're on LinkedIn Learning doesn't mean that your feedback uh, matters less. Doesn't mean that, you know, I don't go through the quality assurance process that I would normally go through for my own content. In fact, it matters even more. So if you've got feedback or you've got questions that you want answered, what you can do and as you're going throughout the course, if I just go back a few pages, you can actually ask questions. So you can ask, uh, you know, questions and I'm actually available to answer them. And the best thing here is that this is all using LinkedIn. So um, you can see my profile here on LinkedIn. I can go and answer the questions. And there's, a, there's, a, there's something really nice about that because you don't get that with many other learning platforms. It's actually easy to create a course, but it's hard to see the almost, I'm going to say this, provenance of someone's experience. Like, what have they done? Are they used to making content? Are they used to teaching people how to use Tableau? And so you can kind of lean on some of that expertise long term if you're engaging with their course in the platform where they also present themselves professionally. So that is an added benefit to doing everything here on LinkedIn. That's pretty much it for the course. I don't want to make this video any longer. The best thing to do, as always, is to get stuck in, watch the course, let me know what you think. Uh, and don't forget the free ways you can access the course that I've titled throughout this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.